Hello and welcome to this course on developing ethical hacking tools with Python. My name is Christian and I'm going to be your subject matter expert for the course. I'm going to start with a few words about me. I am a cybersecurity analyst and penetration tester and cybersecurity is an area that I've been interested in for a very long time. One of my goals for the near future is to find a bridge between machine learning and cybersecurity. Outside of this realm, in my spare time, I enjoy working out, especially lifting weights, uh, as well as hiking. Now that you know me a little bit better, let's see what this course is all about. So you've come to the right place if you're a computer science student wanting to get into ethical hacking. This course is also for you if you're a developer looking to get some hands-on experience in the cybersecurity field. If you're a working professional, you know coding, and you want to get into ethical hacking, then this course is also for you. To be successful in this course, you need to have a basic knowledge and understanding of the Python programming language. By the end of the course, you will be able to work with different Python libraries related to cybersecurity. You'll also know how to build Python scripts for your cybersecurity assessments. And you will be able to combine multiple cybersecurity related Python libraries for automating different aspects of your assessments. From a very high level perspective, here's how the course looks like. So in the first module, we'll be discussing the need for Python in cybersecurity and why it makes ones work much more efficient and effective. The second module is all about automating information gathering. We'll be combining libraries such as Nmap with system modules to put steps of information gathering on autopilot. Then, in module 3, we'll be writing a keylogger in Python. Module 4 is going to be about brute forcing and we'll be building a zip password brute forcer. You'll understand that's actually really easy to do if you get the underlying logic. Lastly, in module 5, we'll say goodbye and look into additional materials and resources that will help you progress further and become even more skillful in this area. My only requirement for you is to have a working installation of Python on your system. We'll be working with Python 3, so please make sure to have it ready for the next lessons. Additional resources, reference materials and links will be provided to you as we progress through the course. These will actually help you better understand and expand upon the concepts you've learned in the videos. That being said, I'm Christian and I'm looking forward to working with you throughout this course.